G'day, I'm Vamzi, and in our previous videos, we saw the differences between a VPN and a Smart DNS, and how to set it up on Windows, Mac, and iOS, and other devices. But guess what? You probably didn't know, when you get a Smart DNS proxy account, you get a free VPN with it. You're welcome, Internet. There's two ways you can set up a smart VPN on your Windows computer. You can either download a VPN client or do it manually. We'll show you how to do both anyway. If you're keen to set up on other operating systems like Mac, iOS and Android, check out our playlist. And with that being said, let's set up your own VPN, shall we? Smart DNS Proxy comes with their own VPN software as well as a manual installation guide for PPTP, LTTP, OpenVPN and etc. 90% of the time, you should go with a VPN software. It's easy to set up and it's real simple to use as well. With just a few clicks away to turn it on and switch the country you want and change the protocol. Manual installation on the other hand is a bit hard to set up and usually meant for geeks who want to customize their VPN service or when you're in a corporate network and are unable to download apps from third party websites. In this video, I'll show you how to set up and configure the SmartDNS Proxy VPN app. If you're interested in the manual setup using OpenVPN, Look for that video in the YouTube cards or wait for the end screen. Ok now, let's get started with the app installation and configuration. First thing you need to do is use your username and password for SmartDNS Proxy VPN. To do that, head over to the SmartDNS Proxy website and simply log in. Remember, if you have a free trial account, you wouldn't be able to use VPN. SmartDNS Proxy offers free VPN to existing paid customers. So make sure you get that upgrade if you haven't already. Next, in My Account page, click on the VPN tab and there you'll see the option to claim your username. Type in the username you want and that will be your username for your Smart Proxy VPN. The password is the same as the SmartDNS Proxy password that you'd use for your login. Now we need to download SmartDNS Proxy VPN app for Windows. Go to the link in the description below and this will take you to the download page. Once you're there, click on the Downloads Windows app link. The rest is pretty simple. Install the VPN app just like you'd install any other Windows app and then open it. Enter your username and password that you've just created on your SmartDNS proxy page. Once you log in, you can choose which country you want to switch to from the drop down menu, like say United States for this instance, and select the city from the second drop down box. Note, depending on the server, some states may or may not support Torrent, so choose wisely. Next, go to the settings page. Now, if you're not familiar with the various VPN protocols, then you can leave them as default. But in a nutshell, you need to choose OpenVPN, which is the default anyway. In general, PPTP is the oldest and not really secure, so I try and avoid it. L2TP and SSTP are relatively newer and secure as well. But not all operating systems are compatible with SSTP, so it's better to go with an OpenVPN or L2TP. You still with me? Same thing for TCP or UDP. TCP packets are more reliable as ACK packets is received when you make a connection. But this also makes it slower than a UDP protocol. In layman's terms, TCP is ideal when you need the reliability of an internet like when you're emailing or surfing. While UDP is better for audio and video, even if you do lose a packet or two, it really doesn't matter. I generally prefer TCP because TCP connections are usually allowed in firewall networks on common ports like 80, 443. But frankly, there's not much of a difference to it. You can try both of the protocols if one of them doesn't work. For port number, you can leave 443 or 80. And now that's it, you're all set up. To check if it works, let's go to Google and check your IP address. Now go back to Smart DNS VPN, turn it on, and once you're back, refresh the page. You'll see the IP address has changed to the country you choose to be in. Now you can unblock all kinds of websites like Netflix, Pandora and even uTorrent if it's blocked on your network. Well that's how you set up SmartVPN on your Windows computer. SmartVPN also supports torrents, socks via proxy and other cool little features. But that's for another day. Go check out our other videos on how to set it up on macOS, Android and iOS. And if you've got any issues setting it up, let us know in the comment section below or log a ticket with our support team for assistance. I'm Vamzi with SmartDNS Proxy and thanks for watching.